Congress wants to build a 3,000 mile long wall 30 feet high between the U.S. and Mexico. What a waste of money. You build a 30 foot high wall between the U.S. and Mexico, Mexico become the largest producer of 31 foot extension ladders. <laughs> Pole vaulting become their new national sport. <laughs> I'll be like, yes, we can, si se puede. Heck yeah, you build that wall high enough between the U.S. and Mexico, Mexico will launch their own space program. We have the Apollo space program, program. they'll have the Apoyo Loco space program. Heck yeah. Just, 3,000 mile long wall ain't gonna stop crap. 3,000 miles of shark infested waters and a leaky boat did not stop the pilgrims. As our ancestors call it, the worst surprise costume party ever. That's right. Not even a full blood, but we still gotta put up with the stereotypes, right? I'm not from the reservation. I didn't have my first drink till I was almost 12. Right, that's what everyone thinks. Native Americans can't handle their liquor. I'm like, bull crap. Midgets can't handle their liquor. <laughs> they busted the father from the Little People Big World TV show for DUI. Now they got him in a six-step program. <laughs> oh, don't judge. I hope he makes it. I'd hate to see him fall off the little red wagon. <laughs> I know. You cannot call a little person a midget. They're micro-Americans. Man, call it, they say calling a little person a midget is like calling a black person the N-word. I'm like, really? I'm like, midget, please. <laughs> midget, you crazy. Midget be tripping. My midget. Jeez. <laughs> I was talking to one of the other Indians, you know, the other Indians, the turban Indians, not urban Indians, right? The, the microchip, not the buffalo chip. The, the tech support, not the child support. And I asked him, I said, how come your people never come to our Indian casinos? He goes, oh, no, no, my friend. We are not going near those places. My cousin Sanji programmed those damn slot machines. She used to call, you used to call tech support, you'd get India on the phone, right? Now, the India, they're subcontracting tech support to the Philippines, right? And I love my Filipino people, but you call tech support in the Philippines, it's like being stuck behind them in traffic. It is, I'm sorry. You want one piece of information, they want 50 pieces of information. Uh, thank you for calling Epson Tech Support, uh, help my provide you with the world-class service. Uh, yeah, I just need a, a cord for my printer, just need a cord for my printer. Oh, there's no problem. Uh, before we get started, I just need some basic information. May I start with your first and last name? Uh, Mark Yaffe. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yippy. <laughs> I also need your mother's maiden name, your great-grandmother's maiden name, and the name of your first pet turtle. What? <laughs> and now they've actually also um, subcontracted out over outsourced 411 to the Philippines. I hope they don't outsource 911 because someone is not going to survive that call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling County of Los Angeles Emergency Services. Uh, how may I provide you with a world class service? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been shot. <laughs> oh, we heard 911 are so sorry to hear about your troubles. Uh, <laughs> can I please start with your first and last name? <laughs> Mark Yaffe. Uh, Mr. Yaffe, uh, can you please to tell us the location where you were shot? I got shot in my lower abdomen. I'm bleeding. Uh, let me check here. Lower abdomen, is that anywhere near Temple City or Monrovia? In, and we all know the other stereotype. You think Indians are all making millions on casinos. Not true, I owe my casino money. <laughs> Went and played some blackjack last week, that little Vietnamese blackjack dealer. Yeah, her name was uh, Soon You Lose.
People are always treating you different. I'm working at Reno, Nevada at a club. The housekeeping at the hotel found I was native. The next day, the lady come knocking on my door. She's like, And people always ask if I'm offended by the tomahawk chop. I'm like, I don't care. As long as you know my native folks doing the wave when you lose at an Indian casino. <laughs> tomahawk chop. What? No other group has to put up with that, right? No other group has. You wouldn't go to a Reno rabbi's game and see him doing the circumcision chop. <laughs> Cleveland kamikaze game, have big old foam chopsticks. And went, Bonsai! <laughs> people walk up to your native. They'll ask, oh, they'll, they'll say this one. This is my favorite. Oh, I'm part Indian too. You can tell by my high cheekbones. You wouldn't walk up to a Chinese guy, hey, I'm part Chinese too. You can tell by my high math scores. <laughs> hey, I'm part Jamaican. You can tell by my high THC level. <laughs> For the record, I do not smoke weed. I do not want to be known as a token Indian. Hey, hey, we all got that one pot smoker friend that believes weed will solve any world problem, right? That's my cousin. He's like, Mon, Mark, if the Palestinians and the Israelis would just get together and smoke a fat one, there'd, there'd be peace in the Middle East. <laughs> no, dude, if the Palestinians and the Israelis got together and smoked a fat one, they'd go to war over the Doritos. <laughs> All right, you never get used to it though, you're even part Nate. You never get used to the way people treat you. Another, the other day, a lady asked me after a show, she goes, Mark, is it true you Navajos and your travels, you're guided by outer voices? I'm like, yeah, it's called an OnStar navigation system. <laughs> My OnStar commercial, that would have a completely different ending. I'd be like, OnStar, I can't breathe. I'm having a heart attack. I need to get to a hospital right away. Um, uh, OnStar, we are so sorry to hear about your problem. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Mr. Yippie, we have checked your records. You have not made a car payment in four months. <laughs> There'll be no ambulance. We are sending a tow truck. <laughs> Step away from the vehicle. <laughs> All right, you guys have been great. I'm Mark Yabby. Thank you, yeah.